Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Homestead. We are back here on the homestead. Uh, and, well, I'm, I'm going to up my operations. That's what we're kind of going to be doing today. Um, had a lot of people kind of give me some tips and I'm, uh, I'm yeah, I'm going to put those into effect. And now, just in case, a, a few people don't seem to like get this or uh, think about this, but if you give me a suggestion and it doesn't kind of show up for a couple of episodes, it's because usually I record like one or two episodes in advance, so it might take a while for that suggestion to uh, to appear. So don't think I'm ignoring you or anything like that, or don't get frustrated if I'm like, why is he still doing it wrong when we've told him how to do it right? Um, it might just be that I've not caught up to that bit yet. That's all. That is all. Anyway. Anyway, I have here, I have some more traps. Uh, I just wanted to close this bit up like that. There we go. That's a little bit better. So they need, I think, five blocks around or something like that. I, I can't remember. It doesn't, it doesn't actually say, but uh, I'm hoping, hmm, I'm hoping this should be enough space. So let's put, let's put uh, one, two, three. In something like that, something like that, and then we should hopefully get a little bit more leather. And I've also got some strainers uh, to try and get us a little bit more, uh, a little bit more clay. People have been saying a few strainers, and that should hopefully kind of sort your clay problems out. So I am, uh, I'm, I'm going with that. We're gonna try do that. Uh, ooh, hey, hoo, ha. Um, Let's put one. Let's put one over here. There we go. One, two, three. And then we have one more. Let's put you over here. There we go. Uh, let's put that. And then let's go to the original one, which I think is this one. Yep. And put you in as well. So we've got one bit of leather there, which is is just rubbish. Um, I don't want that at all. There we go. Let's put you there. Let's just drop you. What's that? Brussels sprout. We can take that. We can take that. So how is everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty nice day today. Let's harvest some of this wheat because it's almost winter. Winter is coming. It's on its on its way. So we need to harvest as much as we can. Uh, we do obviously have the uh, the heater thing now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move that over there when winter does arrive. Uh, just so that we kind of uh, we keep our we keep our stuff safe uh that that should do now i need to let's have a drink oh very nice very nice and then let's uh let's put the strainer around here as well so obviously you know i have that one strainer there um i'm wondering whether we should essentially kind of put it is that a scorpion? Is that a scorpion? Yes, it is. Huh. Huh. I don't know if I'd really want to eat a scorpion, but there you go. We can. So, I'm guessing if we do something like that, and then like that. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know I need to put them probably further down, but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm going to do it like this, and like that, boom. And now, these, they're great and all, they are great, um, but the thing that annoys me about them is that they take, they take these rocks to make, uh, and I don't think you can make these, they're just found on the ground, so you can, every time I want to make some of these, I like, I have to go, I have to go searching for a for rocks and it's just a little bit annoying you know it's just a little bit annoying and that's why i've never wanted to make like a few of them at a time um let's do something like this bam okay so if we do that that should that should kind of do that so i don't know why i went all the way up there for for water when there's some just here come on Bam. Yeah, let's do one more. There we go. Boom. So we've got we've got five strainers now essentially. I might move the other one here at some point as well. 
Um, and I'm hoping this will will kind of just give us a little bit more kind of leeway with clay. Um, let's eat one of these. Oh, lovely. Look at that saturation. And then let us have some toast just to top that up. Give us some grains. There we go. So, the other thing that um, people have been saying is that I should really... Be oh, look at that. Oh, wow. So that, okay, so it goes only to 16. That is good to know. That's good to know. So people have been saying that I should use um, coal coke in here instead of charcoal. And that is correct. Like, that is a better way of doing it. It's just to make coal coke, you need uh, just normal uh, normal coal. Uh, let's, there it is. Uh, and I don't have that much uh, normal coal, but I do have a lot of charcoal because we have our... Uh, ridiculous tree farm over here that is just like I just can't stop it like I mean look at this it's full it's just always full it's just always full um let's just take you and you there we go um so it's just so efficient that frankly I uh, <laughs> I just I don't need to use cold coke um even though it is a better ratio but that's fine anyway we have here steel steel ingots yes that is all part of the plan. Harvest. Wait, what? Oh, that was... Wait, what have I just accidentally made? Oh, that was weird. I've just made... Oh, how did that happen? Well, that's the weirdest thing. <laughs> how did that happen? Um. Well, that... How odd. Okay, let's just replace the other strainer. Ugh, that was that was an oddity. Let's put you back there like that, and that should hopefully be okay. I mean, again, I might I I might move that. Now I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, the other thing, the other thing that Lord Dan told me, which is a, a very cool thing, is these. These yurts are pretty cool. Um, can can they can they do normal? There we go. Right, so these are, well, I think they're called extra dimensional. Um, so what happens is if we do this, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, if we do that, no, oh, oh, this is so weird. Oh, there we go. Right, if we go in, there we go. Um, that this apparently um keeps its inventory essentially so if we do if we do a bit of that uh, and then go out like that and then take it with us and put it down again let's put it down over here can we yes uh, and boom and then we go in again there you go it keeps it keeps the wood there so that is actually pretty cool that is actually pretty awesome uh, and that's why we couldn't get out there because uh well it's a different dimension technically so that is actually a pretty that's a that's a really cool thing that's a lot cooler than i thought it was uh going to be so thank you very much lord dan for letting me know that and now do i do i do i let's let's put you in there have i got the others uh yes that's you I've also got that, but there's not enough space in there. But that'll that'll be okay, just to just to alleviate my stuff. So we've got creosote oil there, scorpion there. We don't need that right now. We don't need these strainers. There we go. That's a little bit better now. Where is my clay? Where did I put my clay and my bricks? Because I need the clay and the bricks. And I sh I'm certain I had some somewhere. So. The blast oven, we need reinforced, reinforced, uh, oh, of course, no, I just made it with the blast bricks. Okay, so steel plate, we just hammer the steel, so I need my hammer, bam, uh, I can probably do this in my inventory, like that, yes, thank you, and then we take down, we take down our coal, uh, no, our blast furnace. This is the blast furnace. Yes, yes. Let's take you down like this. 
and I'll skip this. Right, I have the 27 blast bricks and steel plates. There we go. Look at that. Reinforced. Reinforced blast bricks. So, what we should yeah, be able to do now, and I do believe we need a hopper for it as well. Quest updated. Very nice. Is we put this like that. And I think it's basically the same pattern. Um, I don't think I've ever made the um, the improved blast furnace. Oh, and I forgot. Look at that. Double jump. Double jump because of these. The Boots of Tears. Uh, and I don't know what they're made out of. Because it would be pretty good to put mending on these. Um, just so they don't, you know, they don't ever die. Oh, and I need my hammer. Uh, bam. <gasps> yes, look at that. So, that goes in there like that. The slag is just, yeah, comes out of there. And I don't know how much quicker this is now. I don't know. Um, we should. We should maybe, maybe have a little test to see how much better it is. Can I get past? Uh, let's get one little bit of that. Let's also get some wood. Because I can make more charcoal. There we go. Boom. Uh, let's put you in. So yeah, that is a fair bit faster. And I know, I know, you can make it even faster still with... I can't remember what they're called, but you can attach something to to these things I do believe uh, to make to make this stuff happen a bit a bit quicker a bit quicker so that is something that we should uh, maybe do at some point but let's have a look actually if the quest is updated industrial age uh, oh it's just it just literally said yeah it's done um, yeah that that is that is that done core sample drill I'm in, I'm I'm interested to see how much the core sample drill because that would be one of the next big things that we I would like to do is to get kind of the the mining kind of going better because I don't I, I keep looking into the um, the Steve's carts mining stuff and I'm not sure I'm not sure I like it that much um, I don't know I don't know I should probably give it a proper try and um, before kind of say no to it but um. Uh, what was I doing? What was I doing? Uh, oh, that's what I was doing. I need my book. There we go. Engineer's manual. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm guessing heavy machinery? Maybe? Improved blast foot, metal press, excavator? No. Um, simple machines? There's actually a lot of machines here that I've never really used at all like the bottling machine looks really kind of cool but I've never never used it um convey where is it where is it okay so I was looking in the wrong place for this uh, I thought it would be in the book but it isn't um, because it's a simple structure essentially uh, so the first thing I need to make is that uh, I need to do it via there um so light engineering block which is pretty simple and you get two of those that's pretty nice uh, and then these things these things are just basically steel rods like that and you make that like that so i need no i need 16 of those to make that and i think i need just another two uh, like that to make these so I need four of those. Yes, excellent. Uh, and then I need, ah, I need four more. So I'm missing two bits of steel. Let's just quickly, I have more smelting up. I think it might have run out of charcoal. Let's just get a couple of these. Yes, it has. So I just need two steel more. And then we can make a core sample drill. And this basically, it samples a chunk and tells you what's in it for a little bit of RF. I'm not sure if our battery is going to be enough. Oh, and look at this. Our strainers are now empty. So what have we got? 10 clay, 12 clay, 10 clay. So I suppose that's not too bad. That's like between all the strainers, that's like a stack of clay, essentially. Yeah. So that's not too bad. But now I have to go looking for rocks again to make the actual strainers themselves. So that is 
a little bit annoying. Um, but anyway, oh man. Oh, this is going to take a little bit of time just to get two more bits of steel. So I will see you shortly. Right, we are back. I have that and I should be able to just do that. So if, oh, core sample drill, excellent. Uh, this is the dynamo, this is the capacitor. If I get that, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can just attach this like that. Or do we have to, do we have to properly attach it? I think we might, I think we might, okay. Uh, I think we should have another one, yep, yeah, there we go. So, uh, put that on you like that, put that like that. There we go. And is that now doing stuff? <laughs> I don't know. It, it sure doesn't look like it. Oh, that's IF. Oh yeah, KIF. So, um, I sh that, I'm sure that should be doing this, the stuff. Small amount of power is required. Yeah. If minerals are found, yeah, 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 stuff. Um, let me see if I can figure this out because I'm pretty certain that this should be working right now. Uh, I don't see why it shouldn't be. I don't, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not certain. Oh, I figured it out pretty quickly. Um, I forget with uh, immersive engineering, you kind of need to change the outputs like that. So I've changed that to that and that should, yeah, look at that, that is doing stuff now. Um, so that's 8,000, so, was that? Yeah, so it should take about 10 seconds, essentially, to do its thing. Oh, core sample. Ah, no mineral, no fluid reservoir, overworld. I, hmm, I, I, Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that at all. But no mineral, no fluid reservoir. So that is in this kind of chunk that we have ourselves in here. So basically what I need to do is kind of take this. Oh, oh, oh. And it tells you, look, there's a chunk boundary there and there and there. Okay. So that is pretty handy. So if I were to move this like two, essentially, let's, let's do that. Uh, yep, bam, bam, like that, and let's put you there, and then let's attach you up again, like, th like that, bam, and bam, uh, and that should hopefully kind of give us a different, a different sample. Yep, oh, 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 this is, and this is something, crude oil. Ah, well now, well now, well now. So we have found some oil, uh, not minerals, but oil. That is, well, that is something at least. Um, that's going to be useful, I think, um, to, well, to basically, I'm guessing it tells you where it is. Yeah, look at that. It kind of gives you the vague coordinates. So that's pretty useful. So I think what we're going to have to do is, we might actually try to do at least one Steve's Carts mine kind of thing just to see if that works. But anyway, I think that's all we have time for for today's episode. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, a like or comment is always very much appreciated. And of course, make sure to subscribe. That would make me very happy. But let's smile on my face. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Hector. This has been Homestead. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.